Kagero, can we talk? Oh, sorry. Can it wait till later? I was about to go work out in the gym. Okay, that's fine. Sorry to turn down your invitation. I have to work hard every day to be this awesome, so I can't afford to skip. I didn't know he worked out. I suppose I could do with a little working out, too. What? Nobody's here. Does that mean he pretended to come here and then turned invisible? That's strange. Haruka, you have a second? I don't see Kagero. Do you know where he went? What? You can't see him? Did he? Do you have an idea where he is? Kagero behaves himself in front of girls, but when it's a group of guys, he gets really inappropriate. He was talking with my brother about some perverted situations involving his invisibility, and I was mortified. Something about being able to peep in the shower room while invisible. That's disgusting. Well, I don't think he was serious, and I doubt he'd do that in the hideout. I'll go check his GPS location. Huh? These coordinates are outside the hideout. He left the compound and is on the move. It looks like he's heading towards Mizuhagawa. Why is he going there? I don't know. Maybe taking a walk? Hmm. I should go check it out. Okay. Be careful. According to Haruka, Kagero should be around here. There he is. It doesn't look like anything's wrong. Maybe she was right and he's just taking a walk. Hey now, am I really that untrustworthy? I guess I am. You noticed I was here? I didn't follow you because I was suspicious. I was just a little worried. Either way, you're right not to trust me, considering everything I've done up till now. So why did you lie to come here? Oh, I was feeling a bit bored. Sometimes I just want to be alone for a little while, and this was just one of those times. I'm fine, really. You don't look fine. At the very least, you're not like your usual self. Is something wrong? Hey. Why do you go on living? Where did that come from? I don't understand the question. Your beloved sister Naomi died, right? I'm asking you how you can still go on living. What's your motivation? <sighs> it's already been 2,000 years. 2,000 years that I've lived in a world without my daughter. Can you imagine what that's even like? I'm just empty. I've lived this long to protect my daughter's existence, but once I do that, I don't have a reason to live. When I looked up at that moon, I'd feel hate, nostalgia, all sorts of things. But now, I feel nothing. It's like I'm already half dead. I guess that's what it means to lose the people we love. Is it different for you? I'm not empty. I'm only alive now because my sister protected me. That's why I can't let my life go to waste. I have to live on. For her. Because I lost my sister, I have to live to make sure that tragedy never happens again. Young people can be so positive. You're an old man who's lived for 2,000 years. If you've got time to feel sorry for yourself, why don't you do something meaningful? If you feel like your life is empty, then use the time you have to think about how to fill it. Don't call me an old man. Kids these days are so harsh. Did you really need to say all that? <sighs> this is all just a joke to you. Don't put it like that. This is my style. Fill the emptiness, you know? You know, getting left behind by time really sucks. It's a lot harder than you can imagine. I came all the way out here because I didn't want you to see me down like this. I'm so lame. Yes, very lame. Your daughter would think so too. 
Now that's really depressing. Fine. It's time to bust out the super cool Kagero to win back you and my daughter. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> 